Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Sierra Chart and we're going to talk about some advanced study settings. In our last video we did talk about how to add a study to our chart and some other options like customizing a study and changing the chart region. We're going to talk about some other options in this video like how to hide a study, how to access a study settings menu a little bit more quickly, as well as how to save a collection of studies as well to transfer to another chart. So the first thing I want to access is the uh, studies settings window. So Often you may want to adjust things like the line style or a color or even the thickness of a study. And to normally do that, for example, this moving average, if I wanted to change, uh, for example, the color, I would have to go through the studies window here, select the moving average, and then go to the settings menu here. Now we can get there a little bit quicker actually. And one way to do that is to just click within the chart region that the study is in. So I'll right mouse click and then select study settings. And then we have the option to choose the moving average. And then it brings us straight to that study, study settings window instead of having to go through the studies window first. And it works the same way with the ADX here. We see that's in chart region two. So we just click within chart region two, right mouse click and select study settings and then ADX. And that brings up that study settings menu. Now, one other thing that I want to talk about is how to hide a study. And you'll still think get things like alerts, but maybe you just don't want to view it on your chart. So we can do that by going to the studies window selecting the study that you want to hide so for example the moving average and there's a kind of a handy hide button here right under our settings menu so I'll select that and click ok and you'll see that won't show up on our chart anymore and of course we can unhide that just by going back and unchecking that box and then we'll select ok now I want to talk about how to save a collection of studies. So right now we have a collection of studies on our chart, on our ES daily chart, but I actually have multiple charts open within this chart book. So if I uh, look at these other charts, you'll see I have a five minute chart here that doesn't have any studies on it. Um, it just has the price bars. So maybe I wanted to add the SMA here and the ADX to this chart. One way to do that is to save this, these studies in the daily chart here I have open as a collection of studies. So I'm gonna maximize this and we'll take a look at how to do that. Now one way to do that is to go to the studies window. And then in the right bottom hand corner here, you'll see that we have save studies as study collection. I can name it whatever I want. Uh, we'll just use that standard name there, ADX SMA for our average directional index and our moving average, our simple moving average. And then we just select save all. And then we'll select yes. We want to save all of the studies. Um, we do have an option to, to save a single uh, study, but I want to save all of these. I want both the ADX and the moving average. I will select OK. And nothing looks different, uh, of course, uh, normally, but if we take a look in our analysis tab, we see that we are using the ADX SMA study collection. So what's cool about that is if we do go back to one of those other windows, so for example, uh, we have our five minutes here now. If I wanted to add studies to this, I can just select that chart and we'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Go to that analysis tab here and then I have that study collection within the analysis tab now available. So if I click on that, it's gonna add the SMA and the ADX for me. So that's just a quick way to add a collection of studies right to your chart without having to add them individually. You can add them just as a collection. Now, one other option I want to take a look at is how to clear your chart quickly. So, um, you know, we have these other charts. We have some clean charts. Maybe I want to go ahead and use this five minute chart, but I want to take off of those studies. I want to take those off of our chart and clear it just to have it the way it was before. If we go to that analysis, we'll see that we have a clean chart option. So if I click that, it'll, of course, take those studies off of our chart. So just some quick tools for you here to be able to save a, a collection of studies, how to hide studies, how to completely clear them off of your chart, and also just to access the studies settings menu a little bit quicker than previously. If you do have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com.